Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to your Kuzo like you? a dragon. Last time, let's chat with Rika. What's up? We did side quests. Yes. A minute or two. Oh. <laughs> so, you like pansies, huh? That's right. I do. They're beautiful. I bet you'd hit it. But gave me a broken I don't have. We have a pop of cells. Well, you have to work. Okay. So, what I want to do is, I haven't changed jobs in a while with anybody. So, I kind of want to do that a little bit. Let's see what we have as an option. Enforcer. Commons levels, uh, of course, that's an issue. So, uh, let's go back to Freelancer with Ichiban. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep you as idle because I want the healer permanently. Uh, with you being a hitman, that makes things a little bit different. Interesting. But... I think him being a bodyguard would be really good. Yakuza 6 version. Huh. Congratulations. Alright. The Dachi's biggest problem is I cannot find something that's good for him. I don't like any of his stuff. So I want to sit and go back to detective for him. Oh, freak. I like that. That's why. Namba's still the homeless guy. Yes, he's still kind of like the backup healer. I need to get Bond up. Let's give him Chef. You're doing great. I love the eye patch. You know what? I freaking love the Night Queen. She stayed as a Night Queen. He can only be one of three things. And I think I'm just gonna keep him as gangster and we'll just change his costume. I'll be rooting for you. Because we need to get bonds up. And for us to get bonds up, we have to continue on with the story. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to actually move, make progress and continue the story a little bit. Yeah, we haven't done that in a long time. I've been lazy. I've been using a lot of this lately. This bar districts? So, we should be having fun here. Um, so, I've done two or three side quest episodes in a row. And I feel like if we do... Wait. I don't have money. This. Huh. Well, crap. We can do Bonzo, which actually works out just fine. Alright, so now I'm about to get his bar up. His bar up. You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry for lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well, right? That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Good point. Then, what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so... I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Ha, <laughs> man! I'm all ears! Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. 
Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Uh... Oh, God. Uh, don't worry, people. So what? You totally look younger than you are. You, uh, think so? For sure. If you told me you were in your 20s or, hell, your teens, I'd believe it. God damn it, Ichiban. <laughs> Sorry. That was a good one, though. You got me. Anyway, back to Mizue-chan. What happened? Oh, that's right. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, one night I was a little sleepier than usual, so I went out to the back lawn thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open. And Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well... Calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. <laughs> Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue-chan. That was what I thought at the time. So I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now, how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? 
Well, my brother disappeared not long after, so even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizue-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizue-chan's third, and I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <sighs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. <laughs> Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Namba here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Dang, he was only a Bond level two, so... You know, I kind of want to try a fortune teller and a dealer eventually, and that will be something we'll be working towards, but let's keep moving up people else's thing. Yeah. Huh? Yo, Sachan. Huh? Sachan? Oh god, it's uh... uh... Wait, you're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait, are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? <laughs> it's me, Ichiban! Look closer, it's me, Saiko! Oh, so it is you, Sachan. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. Yeah, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take out the trash. Wait, seriously, we're doing this now? Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? I, I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. 
Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You could pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey, man, I gotta ask. How about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. This ain't none of your business. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky Nanoha's not a real loan shark. I'm lucky because Nanoha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? These fucking tightwads. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa-san has already borrowed from Nanoha-san. What? Hey, Yamashita, stay out of this. Nobody asked you. Uh, uh, forgive me. It wasn't my place. No, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza-looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Remember what you said? How you always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha really loved you that much? We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel. And I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Ah. Oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What, what did you say? <laughs> Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Nanohasan go. She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs the money. And besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soap land. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's little bitch... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave your ass, you just make threats? Are all your boys with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. Alright, I'm just fucking sick of you now. All of you, stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out! Yamashita too, the goddamn traitor! Really? I <laughs> can't see I didn't see this guy. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Boy, you do, don't you? <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita Kun. Kinda cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. Threatening men. Oh boy. Wait, it's just me and her? Oh, this is fun. And I'm still not even fully here for the last. Oh, freak. I, I forgot I changed like all my stuff, so. I really need to heal after this fight. Cause I'm like, I've had no MP for the longest time. Here we go. Oh, you have no health. And I forgot to switch back to freelancer. I've really need to start free. I have a lot of stuff to fix. Oh my god, you do no damage. Stare down? Dude, you're not. No. 
Uh, that works for me. That's how you do it. And it's okay, was nice. That's going up. <laughs> I do have to do the job rank up. Okay. I like it. Please stop hitting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, where's all that fighting spirit, Katsuragawa? <laughs> Don't tell me you've had enough. <laughs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now, then get the hell out of Yijincho. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, you won't have an ass when I'm done. Okay, okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> all right, I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole. Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again! <laughs> uh, I mean, what'd he say? Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that courage to look cool for Nanoha. Sorry, Yamashita-kun. No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap land? Yes, and this whole Katsuragawa incident never happened, okay? I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town without saying goodbye. And it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister telling her to break up with the guy. What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa, now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a good relationship with her. Her happiness is my top priority. How she feels about me is secondary to that. It still kind of sucks if she ends up hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still. Huh. I could always tell Nanoha-san it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts. But I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way, she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Nice plan. I like how it conveniently gives you all the credit, Yamashita-kun. Oh, you're right. Guess that's no good, is it? <laughs> I don't want to take all the credit. After all, I only said what was true. It killed me to see you're caught up in Katsuragawa's game for so long. I kept telling myself that I would stand up for her if she ever needed it. But then I'd make excuses. Telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her, well, when I saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed, I knew the time had come. Sachan, you hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I. I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well, you pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister's squeeze kind of low, aren't you? I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nanoha will eventually realize that. Hopefully sooner than later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life. No. Oh, she's maxed out now? Well, dang, I didn't realize that. Most of she's not in the party, now she can just bombard your bash. Whatever that is. Alright, so we have one other person that has a thing. Let me go heal before I forget anything else.
Alright, let's do Adachi's next one while we're at it. While we're here, anyway. Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasaga. Thanks for being there during the settlement the other day. Not a problem. Think of the story we can tell now. You playing a rich guy and me playing your secretary. I thought it suited us perfectly, to tell the truth. Now how about I buy you a meal, hmm? Beef bowl sound good? Hell yeah! Let's go to Akahushimaru! Do what? Say that ten times for- Dear gosh. What should I get? The new special looks good, but there's also the old standby. Come on, when someone's treating you, you gotta go with just a standard beef bowl. Aw oh, man, really? Well, at least let me get a large. Huh? Adachi-san, isn't that... Takashi? Hey, Taka- Break down, dumbass! He sees me like this, he's gonna know I'm not rich. Right. Didn't think about that. Not to mention, a rich philanthropist and his secretary eating at a dingy little beef bowl joint looks pretty weird. Let's get out of here before Takashi sees us. What about the beef bowl? Next time. Uh-oh. Hey. That's the con man. How's it going? Okay, even though it was a bust, I still think that guy Yamada is a total sucker. We gotta try again. Okay, come on. Just keep the pen pal thing with him going for now, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. We'll come up with a better plan. One that'll make us really rich. You think the two of them could be working together? Hey! What's going on here, Takashi? Y yamada san What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're getting beef bowls, cause we're broke. Now tell us what you're doing here. You're broke? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Yamada Moneybags was fake. I made it all up. I'm just a jobless old fart named Adachi. Huh? Surprise. Adachi-san was just pretending to be a high roller, so Takashi wouldn't feel bad taking his money. And this is your way of showing thanks? By taking everything I've got? Takashi, if I were you, I'd start apologizing. Adachi-san's not the only one getting pissed off right now. We're the ones who need an apology. You've been lying about all this money of yours, and now it turns out you're just some bum. You stay out of this. No, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Messing with us and stirring up a bunch of shit? You got it coming, man! Screw this. Time for me to kick your ass. Let's go out front. Well, good news, guys. I healed for once. Bad news is... We don't have really good stuff for this fight. Let's go. I, I feel like what... I think I put him at... You know what? Just do what you need to do. I'll show you what money can buy. Let's go. I mean, I, I don't have to do anything. I mean, why are we waste up on the MP that I work so hard every game? Let's go. Oh well. 100 grand, I, I could use that, but not much anything else going on. God damn. I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea what it's been like to be me these past 20 years? Hey, Kosuke. Takashi-kun? I just found this letter in my room. What's this about scraping a bumper and an out-of-court settlement? I don't remember anything about this. Crap. I can explain. Dude, did you pretend to be me to squeeze some money out of Yamada-san? I'm really, really sorry, man. Hang on a sec, you two. Let's get this cleared up. Yeah, seriously. This letter is the one I sent to Takashi, to set a date for the settlement. And you sent it to Takashi Kasumi, that's me. Are you serious right now? Then, who's this? He's my roommate, Kosuke. There was a time when we were both good students striving to become lawyers. But then Kosuke gave up on having a real career and started hanging out with some losers. My guess is they pressured him into impersonating me. 
He's not the type to stand up to people. <laughs> Guess he would have made a crap lawyer. Look, all I did was mention that my roommate had some sweet ass deal where rich guy sends him money every month. Hasegawa san's the one who came up with the scam idea. I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologize as well, Yamada san. Although, I guess I should just call you Detective Adachi. What? How did you know who I was? I've known for a while. Nobody else would have cared about me enough to support me all this time. But you, you fought for my father's innocence until the very end. You know about that? Yes. Even back then, I knew about it. Well, then let me say now what I should have said then. I'm sorry I didn't save your dad, Takashi. Please, don't apologize. You've already helped me make sure that nobody else will suffer like my father did. Because... I passed the bar exam. You what? Really? You kicked that exam's ass? I did. They announced the results yesterday. Hot damn! That's great, Takashi! Really, really great! I owe it all to you. All your help over the years really made a difference. Now, well, if you ask me, it was worth every yen. But I don't want to keep leaning on you, so I ask that you let your most recent gift be the last. Sure! You don't gotta ask me twice. <laughs> Even though, you know, this time next month, I might be a little sad not to help you. Oh, then just keep sending it. After all, I could argue that you legally obligated yourself to keep doing it once you started. What? <laughs> just kidding, that's not real. And I should know. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Looks like Takashi couldn't pull the fast one on you, Adachi-san. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just for a second there. Well, that was touching. Nice to see a kid achieve something so big. I mean, that's some real leveling up. Becoming a lawyer. Yeah. God, Takashi must have worked his ass off. Ah, oh, he's a good kid, all right. Adachi-san, I think your kindness is what taught him to be good. Ah, oh, I don't know. Even without my money, I'm sure he would have made his dreams come true one way or another. That's just the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll be a great lawyer. He'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Thanks for everything, Kasuga. Come on, don't get all sentimental on me. I mean, it's just that, you know, we've gone through some, some shit together, you know? But in the end, it's, you know, good times. I'm glad we met each other. I really am. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Nice that the feeling's mutual. How about we celebrate Takashi passing the test with a drink? Yeah, to great future lawyers and great former detectives. Cheers! Cheers! Well, good. That made me feel really good and stuff. So that's two bonds maxed out. Nails the strike and changes the fortune teller job. That's interesting. There's nobody else we can grind right here, but so next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, we'll eventually do his next level up. I'll see you then.